Do you want peel apart film that you can rely on without having to spend 80 to 100 pounds on a pack of expired film that you don't even know if the pictures are going to come out or not? And most of the time you need very specific vintage cameras to shoot with. Do you want peel apart film that looks like this? Or even this? Or even this? Well, what if I told you that this is Instax film that you can buy from any shop in the high street? If you've watched my previous video, I like the process of destroying physical photography. The last video I did was about bleaching my negatives to get a more interesting colour shift. So then I got thinking, what can I do with Instax film? This particular project was just an off-cut from an idea of bleaching uh, Instax film because I've seen people bleach uh, peel apart film and I saw people bleach Polaroids and I wondered could you do the same with Instax film? But Instax film is very protected, which I've come to learn. In deconstructing the Instax film, I found a lot of ways that you can manipulate it and my favourite was the peel apart method that I'm coining. So I'm going to show you how to do Instax peel apart film and it's super easy and there's only a couple of ways you can really go wrong with it but I'm going to show you what not to do. So this is essentially debordering the Instax border and what you'll find is you get a little bit more of the image whether it's a millimetre or so but sometimes that can be integral to creating a better composition than you originally did. Just make sure you're being safe with, with sharp tools and so on. So what you want to do is grab your scissors or your Stanley knife, whatever you have and just cut along the back at the thicker edge you feel it's a little bit like squishy, a little bit like loose paper. You can get a lot of the residue off from where the board is stuck to the film but I like to keep it on. The most important part of this process is do not peel away the, the back. Now I did peel away the back of the film when I was trying to bleach but it just became really curly and it, it's not ideal. So if you're not wanting to bleach the picture, then you should definitely keep this back part intact. And the best way of keeping it intact is to keep this intact as well. I think if you showed this to someone and you said it was peel apart film, they wouldn't know any different. I really like this look. I feel like it takes away from the fact it's a plastic lens camera. The insects photographs look a lot more intentional with the removal of the border. This works really well with Instax Mini film and the Instax Mini I love the most which has been a quite a strange experience. I also have an Instax Mini printer which I've been printing out some of my digital photography on to analog and then using the peel apart method and I feel like it's just brought a lot more character to my photographs and I've always been interested in turning digital to analog and the, it, it's just been an interesting process. I'd like to see other people's photography with this peel apart method. With how film photography has been in the past maybe decade or so, you just don't know where film photography is going to be in even five years. You know, so many things are getting discontinued and it's so good that we're seeing Instax cameras still being made today. I think they announced another Instax wide last month or something, but it's there's always the chance that film could be discontinued. My theory is that Instax can be seen as quite gimmicky. Polaroid is really respected in the photography and especially the film photography community because Instax only came about around the 2000s I think. People don't see it as much as, as a medium for, for genuine photography, like genuine intentional photography. And I do have the fear that we are going to lose Instax film. We have seen that Fuji has discontinued a lot of the 35mm and 120 films and I just don't want that to happen to Instax and I think any way people can start using Instax again and maybe just show that there's another side of it and I think a lot of people should try and experiment a bit more with Instax film because it's so much cheaper than the Polaroid film and it's a lot more readily available. I just want to thank you for watching. But it's been quite unusual for me to be in front of the camera and usually behind the camera. I would really love to carry on making videos like this. I've got a passion for photography, so... 
And with that, I guess that's goodbye. <laughs>